Welcome back to Sufi and Everything, guys. Yep, I'm not in the office today, you guessed it. I'm actually in the Bahamas. I came here for two reasons. Number one is my anniversary with my lovely wife. 15 years anniversary, by the way. And I also came to try out a local cuisine restaurant. It's called Luca Cari. And I have a lot of friends that told me that it's amazing. I have to come and give it a try. So my plan is I'm going to give it a try and then we're going to go back to the office and I'm going to make it for you guys and see how it tastes sous vide. That's the plan. Anyway, so, but first let me show you how I got here. Check it out. As you can see, we're here in the Bahamas and we got a nice, wonderful guide. He's going to show us around. Well, my name is Mark Burroughs. I'm a taxi driver, city tour guide, and welcome to the Bahamas. Thank you, sir. Where are we going to go first? Well, first of all, we're going to pass our Parliament Square. The guys makes the law and they break the law. <laughs> they break the law? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes it and breaks it. The Queen Staircase. What you see there is nothing done but what used to be one solid rock, one solid massive rock. What you see here is nothing done by Mother Nature, no type of explosive, no type of machinery. It took 600 slaves, 16 years to hand carve this canyon, working 18 to 23 hours a day with just chisel, hammers, and rock saws. They take all the coral and limestone from the canyon and they build Fort Finn Castle. And that's my exercise for the day. Well, Atlantis, the island itself is called Paradise Island. It was purchased by a, a gentleman from out of, out of the United States for 12 million, that's years ago. He paid 12 million dollars for Paradise Island? Years ago. Ha! Huh. How much is it worth now? A couple hundred million, easy. Well, the Michael Jackson suite, uh, it's one, one, one room, one suite, and it's like uh, 25,000 dollars a night and the minimum is five nights. They call it the Michael Jackson. Minimum is five nights? Minimum is five nights. You gotta have the big bucks. You gotta have the big bucks. That was a beautiful sightseeing in the Bahamas, but now we're hungry and let's go to Lukakari. Let's do it. Welcome to Lukakari, welcome. This is the Tambin baby back ribs and we have the side of mac and cheese on there. Catch of the day, sorry. That's good. Catch of the day. Mmm. Wow. That looks delicious. Can I make that one sous vide too? Comment below if you want to see it. Let me know. Thank you, Lee. You are the best, brother. The pleasure was all mine. I appreciate it, man. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all come back now. Nah, you help. Absolutely. Thanks, Lee. <laughs> Lee was amazing, and it's buy one get one free. Now it's my turn. Let's do it. So for my version of Luca Curry ribs, I'm going to be using baby back ribs. Now the first thing you want to do with baby back ribs, if you want it very tender, is remove the main brain. And here's how. I'm going to be seasoning it with pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, cinnamon, and smoked paprika. Now when I was there in Lukakari, I noticed that it tasted a little bit smoky, but not very smoky. So I'm going to tone down on the smoke and smoke it for one hour at my low temp, which is about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I am using hickory wood. 
Now for what makes these ribs really special, the sauce. I'm gonna be melting some butter, and remember, exact amount in the description below. Coconut milk, brown sugar, tamarind sauce, which you will find in the description below, and honey. Mix it well and let it reduce, and your sauce is done. I'm gonna be cooking the ribs at 150 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. Now you might be wondering what this is. This is the sauce. Now I know I have a lot of new subs on the channel and you might be asking, why did you double bag it? Just for safety purposes, it's not really necessary, but everything that has bones I do it, I double bag it. You really don't have to, but I do it anyway. See how you don't need to double bag it? That is, until the time that you cook and it bursts. And then you double bag it all the time. <laughs> I gotta say it, man, they smell fantastic. You know, guys, I'm not trying to copy Luca Kari. I was inspired by Luca Kari. Here's the plan. I'm going to do a light coating on the sear, and then I am going to bring them back inside. We're gonna glaze them with our sauce, and we're gonna review it to you. I know they don't look that good right now, but me and Mama, we're gonna fix this problem. Watch this. Ninja, how do they look, bro? Man, that look good. Wow, it's like a mahogany. It's fantastic. And they were inspired by Luca Kari, Ninja. From the Bahamas? Yeah, bro. Nice. Ah, No more talking. Let's cut it open. Let's give it a go. Let's see how it tastes. All right. So we can give it a nice, good go here, Ninja. Let's give them a taste and see what it tastes like, my friend. Are you ready for this? Well, you know I'm an expert on this, right? You, I know, you are. <laughs> so, let's see. Tell me, I'm curious. Mm. This is perfect. <laughs> I, th I know about this thing, man. This is perfect. Look at the bite. Look Came at the smoke. Came out perfect, but it didn't, Clean it didn't break, you know, it didn't fall apart. It's exactly what I expected, you know, smoke, really tender, a little savory and salty. I love it. Man, it's really good. It's good? <laughs> Let me well, give it a go. Wow, you cleaned the bone that, 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 look, let's see if it's really tender. You know, it's good to find out if you can just look at this. Is that tender? Huh, Mama? Looks a little bit tender. Oh my god. Mm. My mouth doesn't deserve it. Let me go. Wow, it's so fantastic, huh? Ninja, that was from my mouth. It was from my mouth. I only got three, bro. No problem. Did you just kick him under the table? I just kicked him under the table, <laughs> stealing my food. Mm. It's amazing. Hey, this is the definition of delicious. <laughs> You had to cut it now, Ninja. I have to take the... I have a whoa, knife whoa, on my whoa, hand. Whoa. You don't want to play whoa. with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, I knew he was going to do that. Whoa. Mmm. Tell us how. Now you know why. <laughs> wow, it's like... Do it, Mama. Do it like that. Really? I think that's pretty tender, Mama. Huh? Just a little tender. 
How does it taste, Mom? Tell us. Let me know. It's hard to describe, but it's like it's not sweet, sweet that overclogs your, your taste buds. It's savory. It's a little bit salty, but not on a bad way. It's just like salty flavor. If that makes any sense. And it's just amazing overall. And the final verdict is amazing, guys. The flavor is a little bit difficult to describe. What happens is it a little. Anyway, it's a little savory, a little sweet at the same time. The tamarind. Focus, man! I have to finish the video! Hold on a second! It's good and we're hungry! <laughs> it's a little savory, it's a little salty, it's fantastic, it's a little bit hard to describe. And, uh, and if you ever have a chance to go to the Bahamas, make sure you stop by Lukakari. They are a fantastic restaurant and the atmosphere is awesome. I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you do, make sure you give that thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. And remember, anything I use is on the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Now, we're going to eat, because if not, I'm going to get beat up over here. We're going to eat. See you guys on the next one.